I think there is a longing for authenticity. Now, I think that we have a feeling that everything is a kind of cheap lie. Our politicians are spinning one lie after another. The truths, the, the lies contradict each other almost deliberately just to keep us bewildered. Uh, power tells a story justifying itself, and our task is to tell... I mean, and we, we, we feel... And I think, and, and it's so, the structures of power, particularly since the end of the Cold War, have become more and more naturalized, more and more inevitable, to the point that I think we, we feel hopeless in the face of our biggest problems. And I think that's, I think that feeling powerless is because the structures of power around us, the injustices around us have been so brilliantly naturalized. Um, feeling powerless is shameful, particularly in a democracy where you're supposed to have power over your coll the, over the collective, collectively have power over the destiny of your community. I think we feel ashamed of powerlessness, and I think we can respond to it in two ways. We can become cynical, and we can become apathetic, because try, we try to convince ourselves that we don't care. But I think when you see films that intervene, as nonfiction can do, and force, tell a, and, and, and like all activists struggle to do, tell a different story, thereby undermining official accounts. That's very attractive, because it has in it, even if only, di even if only as a distant glimmer, the possibility of retaining control over who we are as human beings and the destinies of our societies.